On September 16th, 2018, Elliot Kipchoge won the Berlin Marathon in 2 hours, 1 minute, and 39 seconds. This performance absolutely shattered the previous world record, beating the previous record by 1 minute and 18 seconds. This performance has sent shockwaves through the distance running community, and runners throughout the world, including myself, are absolutely mesmerized at this incredible accomplishment. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at Elliot Kipchoge's running career, and hopefully, we'll achieve a better understanding of how this world record was run. Elliot Kipchoge was born on November 5, 1984, in Kapsisiwa, Kenya. It was here that Kipchoge spent his adolescence, but he did not begin running seriously until the age of 17. In 2002, at just 17 years of age, Kipchoge experienced his first real triumph by placing first at the Kenyan Junior Cross Country Championships, qualifying himself for the World Junior Cross Country Championships in Dublin, Ireland. While at Worlds, Kipchoge placed 5th overall and 3rd for Kenya, helping his team place 1st at the World Junior Cross Country Championships. The following year, again at the World Junior Championships, Kipchoge was able to pull out the victory, running a 22.47 for the 7.9 km course. Although these performances were indeed amazing, nobody was prepared for what happened next. Just five months after winning the World Junior Cross Country Championships, Kipchoge shocked the distance running world by bringing home the gold medal in the 5,000 meters at the Outdoor Track and Field World Championships by running a 12.52.79. This performance was truly amazing because Kipchoge outkicked two of the fastest finishers in the history of distance running. And those two athletes were Kenanis Bekele of Ethiopia, who was at the time the future world record holder over the 5,000 meters and the 10,000 meters, and he also outkicked Hisham El Garouj of Morocco, who was the current world record holder over the 1500 meters and the men's mile. After his world championship victory in 2003, Kipchoge seemed poised to be the future of the 5000 meters and the 10,000 meters. In 2004, still just a junior, Kipchoge ran a 1246.53 over the 5000 meter distance, which made him the sixth fastest person ever over the 5k distance. Later that year at the Olympic Games in Athens, Kipchoge towed the line hoping for a repeat gold against Bekele and Hishamel Garouj. Unfortunately for Kipchoge, he would have to settle for third place with a time of 13 minutes 15.10 seconds. Although Kipchoge was able to display a dominant kick in 2003 at the World Championships, his kick simply was not there in Athens. And sadly for Kipchoge, this kick that helped him in 2003 never really returned to him. From 2004 to 2012, Kipchoge had a handful of silver and bronze medal performances, but he was never able to bring home a gold. In 2007, in Osaka, Japan, Kipchoge placed second in the 5,000 meters behind Bernard Lagat, who kicked off very quickly in front of him. Similarly, in 2008 at the Olympic Games in Beijing, Kipchoge placed second in the 5,000 meters behind Kenanisa Pekele, who closed his final 400 meters in a blistering 53 seconds. Some other notable races are included in this table to showcase Kipchoge's running resume from 2004 to 2012. As talented as Kipchoge was over these eight years, another World Championship gold continued to elude him, and in 2012, with the London Olympic Games fast approaching, Kipchoge was simply unable to compete against his new Kenyan rivals. In the Kenyan trials, Kipchoge only managed to finish 7th over the 5,000 meter distance, which meant his dreams of a third Olympic team were over. After failing to qualify for the London Olympics in 2012, Kipchoge decided to shift his focus from the track to the roads. In September of 2012, Kipchoge debuted at the Half Marathon by running the Lille Half Marathon in Lille, France. Kipchoge finished third in a time of 59 minutes and 25 seconds, which was the second fastest debut half marathon ever. Later that year, Kipchoge entered the World Half Marathon Championships on October 6th in Kavarna, Bulgaria, where he placed sixth with a time of 1 hour, 1 minute, and 52 seconds. Heading into 2013, 
Kipchoge was now more experienced as a roadrunner. His half marathon debut was solid, and he had competed well at the World Half Marathon Championships. However, 2013 would be a pivotal year for Kipchoge, as his distance running career would completely shift towards the roads, and nobody could ever imagine just how dominant he would be. In 2013, Kipchoge debuted in the marathon by taking the Hamburg Marathon title with a time of 2 hours, 5 minutes, and 30 seconds, beating the field by over 2 minutes and setting a new course record. This debut would prove to be significant as it was a powerful springboard to his next marathon later that year. At the Berlin Marathon in 2013, Kipchoge ran a time of 2 hours, 4 minutes, and 5 seconds, finishing second behind Wilson Kipsang of Kenya, who went on to set a new marathon world record with a time of 2 hours, 3 minutes, and 23 seconds. This performance at the time made Kipchoge the fifth fastest performer of all time, and this was only the second marathon of his career. As the years progressed, Kipchoge made winning a habit. In 2014, Kipchoge would win the Rotterdam Marathon in 2 hours and 5 minutes flat, and he would also win the Chicago Marathon in 2 hours, 4 minutes, and 11 seconds. In 2015, Kipchoge would win the London Marathon in 2 hours, 4 minutes, and 42 seconds, and he would also go on to win the Berlin Marathon in 2 hours and 4 minutes flat. Jumping forward to 2016, Kipchoge would again win the London Marathon in 2 hours, 3 minutes, and 5 seconds, and he also went on to bring home the gold medal at the Rio Olympics in the marathon with a time of 2 hours, 8 minutes, and 44 seconds. Over the course of these three short years, Kipchoge had established himself as one of the greatest marathoners ever. His winning percentage and his overall times were truly incredible, but his next challenge would tackle a barrier that many thought was completely impossible. In 2017, Elliot Kipchoge embarked on one of the most unique distance running projects of all time, the Breaking 2 Project. This was a year-long project sponsored by Nike with one goal, to break two hours in the marathon. Three runners were selected for this attempt. One, Elid Kipchoge of Kenya, the 2016 Olympic marathon gold medalist with a two hour, three minute and five second personal best at the time. Two, Zersenes Tedesi of Eritrea, the half marathon world record holder in 58 minutes, 26 seconds. And three, Elisa de Sisa of Ethiopia, a two-time Boston Marathon winner with a personal best of two hours, four minutes, and 45 seconds. This race was a huge production as the race directors did everything in their power to optimize performance, including Nike created a new running shoe called the Vaporfly Elite, specifically designed for the Breaking 2 project. Careful buying one of these, they come in at just around $1,500. Second, they chose a fast, flat course to minimize incline change and sharp turns. The actual course selected for this attempt was the Monza Automobile Racetrack in Monza, Italy. Three, optimal weather was selected for the start of this race. The actual weather was 54 degrees Fahrenheit and very light rain was present at the start. Lastly, some of the world's best runners were selected to pace these three runners to hit the sub two hour barrier. These pacers included Bernard Legat, Chris Derrick, Sam Chalanga, Lopez Lemong, Andrew Bumbelow, and many, many more. Furthermore, these pacers would align themselves in a V formation behind a speed-controlled vehicle to protect the runners from the wind as much as possible. At the time of the race, the world record in the marathon was 2 hours, 2 minutes, and 57 seconds by Dennis Cometo. Because of the nature of this race, and the use of extended pacers, this marathon attempt would not count as an official marathon attempt, and therefore it could not be the site of an official world record. Still, millions of people around the world were excited for this attempt. Although many were very, very excited, many people were also skeptical of the project, saying that there is simply no way a runner could break two hours for the marathon. Either way, on race day, as the runners towed the line, they would see how long they could hold the demanding pace of 4 minutes and 34 seconds per mile. Ultimately, the project came up short. However, Elliot Kipchoge ran an absolutely mind-blowing two hours flat in 25 seconds for the marathon. Although this time didn't break two hours, it was super, super shocking to see someone run this time for a marathon. This time was over two and a half minutes faster than the previous world record. 
Indeed, the course was flat and the conditions were controlled and new technologies were implemented for the athletes. But it was still an incredible feat that Kipchoge had run this time. After the Breaking 2 project was done, Kipchoge wasted no time in returning to the marathon circuit. In September of 2017, Kipchoge went on to win the Berlin Marathon again in a time of 2 hours, 3 minutes, and 32 seconds. And in April of 2018, Kipchoge went on to win the London Marathon in a time of 2 hours, 4 minutes, and 17 seconds. Both of these marathons were executed with expertise. They were well paced, they were run very intelligently, and it further showcased Elliott's dominance over the 26.2 mile distance. But there was still a feeling of unfulfilled expectation behind these performances. After running a two flat marathon, a world record seemed like a very realistic expectation for Kipchoge, yet he had fallen short at both the 2017 Berlin Marathon and the 2018 London Marathon. However, looking back at these races, it's important to remember that it was rainy and somewhat windy at the Berlin Marathon, and the London Marathon was officially the hottest London Marathon to date, with a max temperature reaching 75.4 degrees Fahrenheit or 24.1 degrees Celsius. Although these two races brought with them sub-optimal weather conditions, Kipchoge still ran amazing times. These incredible performances showcased Kipchoge's enduring spirit in the marathon, and it seemed as though it was only a matter of time before the world record would be his. After winning the London Marathon in April of 2018, Kipchoge immediately put his eyes on the Berlin Marathon later that year. It was also clear that Kipchoge had one goal in mind, to become the fastest marathoner in history. With a strong support system behind him and the sponsorship and faith of Nike, Kipchoge simply needed to stay focused and healthy to tackle the world record. In his build-up to the Berlin Marathon, multiple workouts surfaced on YouTube showcasing his fitness. One workout that gained a lot of attention was a 15 by 1000 meter repeat video with two minute rest. In his workout, he averaged around 247 for 13 reps, and the last two was completed in 2 minutes and 42 seconds and 2 minutes and 37 seconds, respectively. It seemed as though Kipchoge was poised to break the world record, but he still had to run 26.2 miles in average under 441 per mile to break the world record. Could Kipchoge do it? Only time would tell. On the morning of September 16th, 2018, at long last, it appeared as though Kipchoge would have a fair conditioned race for his world record attempt. At the start of the race, it was overcast, wind was minimal, and the starting temperature was in the low 50s, a near perfect setup for a world record. Kipchoge also had three of the world's best pacers to guide him through his marathon journey. And these pacers weren't just any pacers, these were pacers with some unbelievable running experience. The first pacer was Sammy Kachwara, who holds a personal best in the half marathon of 58 minutes and 48 seconds and is also a four-time winner of the world's best 10K. Second was Josephat Boyt, an eight-time All-American at the University of Arkansas and a 59-19 half marathon runner. Third was Bernard Kip Kimoy, a 27-09 10K runner with a 61-30 half marathon best as well. At the start of the race, with hopes of a world record floating through the air, the 2018 Berlin Marathon at long last began. Within a mile, it became evident that Kipchoge was in much better fitness than any other runner in the race. Along with his three pacers, Kipchoge had broken away from the rest of the field, and he would not be caught for the remainder of the marathon. Early in the race, Kipchoge looked poised, confident, and his tight, smooth stride carried him through the course beautifully. The initial plan was for Kipchoge's pacers to run a two-hour and two-minute flat pace for the entirety of the marathon, with the following pacers following in two hours and three minutes. The initial opening 10 kilometers was smooth, as Kipchoge passed the 10K mark in a blistering 29 minutes and one second. The following 5K is where the initial problems began. But these problems weren't with Kipchoge, oh no. These problems were with the pacers. Sammy Kachwara, the owner of a sub 59 minute half marathon, began to struggle and it was noticeable for him. This was potentially a problem, as he was expected to last until around 30 kilometers. Unfortunately, Kitwara did indeed drop out just before 15 kilometers, but Kipchoge was not slowing down at all. In similar fashion, pacer Bernard Kipkimoy also dropped out just after 15 kilometers, 
This was also a problem, as the Pacers were expected to run much farther. But thankfully, Pacer Joe's Fat Boyd was able to stick around and give Kipchoge a good steady pace to follow. From 15K to 20K, Kipchoge ran a 14-19, which ended up being the quickest 5K of the entire race. Now, at the halfway point, Kipchoge clocked in at 1 hour, 1 minute, and 6 seconds. After passing the halfway point, Kipchoge ran another blistering 5K in 14 minutes and 28 seconds, and it was at this point, just after 25K, that Joe's Fat Boyd was officially unable to continue. Now, Kipchoge found himself alone with more than 10 miles to run. However, this isolation proved to be a non-issue as Kipchoge ran a 14.21 from 25k to 30k. It was at this point that Kipchoge found himself in completely uncharted territory. He was now almost a minute ahead of the previous world record pace, but he was amazingly just getting started. From 35k to 40k, Kipchoge ran a 14.30, and for his final 2.2k, Kipchoge completed this in just over 6 minutes, which equates to running his final 6 minutes at a pace of 4 minutes and 29 seconds per mile. Kipchoge crossed the finish line in 2 hours, 1 minute, and 39 seconds, which equates to averaging 4 minutes and 38 seconds per mile, and here are his 5k splits throughout the race. It should also be noted that Kipchoge negative split this race. His first half marathon was run in 1 hour, 1 minute, and 6 seconds, and his second half marathon was run in a blistering 60 minutes and 33 seconds. The moment Kipchoge crossed the finish line, he immediately was bumped up from distance running superstar to distance running legend. This unbelievable achievement is nothing short of incredible, and after the race, Kipchoge took a moment to describe his emotions. He said, I lack the words to describe how I feel. It was really hard during the last 17 kilometers, but I was truly prepared to run my own race. I had to focus on the work I had put in Kenya, and that is what helped push me. It was my aim to smash the world record, and I felt confident before the race. I have now run a 204, a 203, and now a 201. Who knows what the future will bring? I'm really grateful to my coaching team, my management, and the organization. I'll definitely return to Berlin. Berlin, for me, is eternal. Elliot Kipchoge's running career is a hallmark of preparation, perseverance, and above all else, belief. Thank you all very much for watching, and now hopefully you have a better understanding at how this world record was achieved.